Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In our previous class, we talked about how to filter a Z list using autofill. So today we are moving on to another interesting topic which is creating a subtotal in an Z list. So here before me I have a list of sales person product unit price unit and unit per, per, uh, price per unit then sales. Here I want to summarize some data. Then I want to know the total sales for each of the products. How much that is how much do we sell per product? Maybe strawberry or vanilla or, or food browning or chocolate 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 chips. So how do I do this? To do this, we can use subtotal functions to accomplish this goal. Now, before we can run subtotal tools that is building built in in Microsoft Excel, the very first thing to do is to sort the appropriate column here that you want to we want the subtotal to be. Now, the first thing to do here is to sort the list by product column because we want to know the total sales for each and every product. So you have to sort first of all sort the list by by product by product. So to, how do we sort? If you still remember, we will talk about how to sort list using ascending on this ascending on descending order so the first thing is to sub the list and ascending order so that we able to see the the products on product arrangement and ascending order and sending order so first if now the first step is to click on anywhere on the product now go to your data tab here so now just you can then we can now sort the list in an ascending order by go through this Head to Z, you can see so Z. So once I click on it, you can see that all the we have a group of we have a group of lists now. Now we have a group of products sorted accordingly. We can now perform a proper subtotal for sales for those groups of products now. To do this, then we we, we can click. You should click on you can click on the product or any product uh, on the product on the product list here. then after doing that go to your data on the data tab because it's already big here then go to you can if you feel locate the the menu here you see some functions there you can see subtotal right you can see subtotal but I want to show you something some ways where people some people normally do but it's very very wrong which is i have to just retrieve anything so let me just try to create this is a group of chocolate products right so let me try to create a little, a little road a, a row there by clicking on short curve and uh, command here yeah, control minus sorry the short curve command control plus creating a row right okay if i want to total all the chocolate products here so i can just pick on it then using this um, function and uh, so, uh, some functions here then some functions you can see automatically it gives me the sum of you can see give me the sum of the product here but I would advise you not to do that because it's a very long process when you are working with the sub, uh, sub total functions here. So I will show you in a very shortcut formula whereby you get a list of all the details needed without going following any stress. All right. So let me use undo, undo, undo. All right. I'm back to my previous. So now the first step is to go to your data. Then we see the list stated at the at the top menu here just just pick on in the cell force then go to data 
then see the subtotal then click on it once you click on it now an information and another uh, box we display so what are we what are we actually looking for we are looking for product we, are, we want to sort out the this just to get the subtotal for each product so we're doing it we are not interested on the same person so you pick on the product right so don't forget that when we are working the list your list must have a, an head so the, your, the head will be able to uh, tell us which a, where we are working with in an excel list so i'm choosing a product then under use function uh, use function so choose some because we want to sum up the product then because we want to sum up the plus then under the sales because we want the sales of see some of the sales of six figure on the group list then um, okay i'm okay with it with the other ones then click on okay you can see so automatically it's some of the group products for me without giving me any headache or going by creating each rows then inserting some formula and what have you you can see that this is a very very good technique and which you can work around it and you can perform it in any any area you are you are working with as you can see and there are some other functions that i have to show you here if you if you if you see on your left hand side of the screen here you find three numbers you can see one two three these are groups as well so if you click on the first numbers here you can see it gives me the, the grand total of the of all the product here. so if you click on the on the second button you can see that it, it gives me the 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 subtotal of each and every product you can see and the grand total which is also displayed so if you click on the third one you can see it gives gives me the all the list of the products on the groups you can see so just try it out you can also work around this this function as well you can see so giving you giving you the all the functions you need when working with the subtotal thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as i keep, as I keep giving you latest and updated Z functions. Bye.